Ancient Persian civilization spanned the greater part of Asia for many centuries, the heart of which remains in modern-day Iran. For centuries, the identity of Persian culture has been synonymous with poetry throughout the world. Persian is an Indo-European language closely related to Sanskrit and Avestan, the language of the Avesta, which is the Zoroastrian holy book composed as hymns in pre-Islamic Persia somewhere between 1700 BC and 400 AD. Who can think of Persian poetry without thinking of Rumi or Hafez? These mystical poets created some of the most vital literary treasures of Persia and have been celebrated throughout the world with numerous translations. During the height of the classical period, between the 9th and the 15th centuries, poets expressed their creativity in a variety of forms and styles, rich in distinctive imagery. Classical poetry is always rhymed. The four main forms of classical poetry are the Qasida, the Ghazal, the Rubai, and the Masnavi. The Qasida is an elaborate ode of 60 to 100 lines with a single end rhyme that runs throughout the entire piece. Its main use would be in the expression of elegy, praise, or satire. The Ghazal, that emerged around the 12th century, is a lyrical form that often expresses love, both human and mystic. The poets Hafez and Sadi were masters of this form. The Rubai or the Quatrain, mastered by Omar Khayyam, is a four-line poem of rhymed couplets. And the Masnavi is a form of rhyming couplets that was used in epic poems. Ferdowsi wrote the Shahnameh, or the Book of Kings, in a Masnavi of 50,000 couplets. It is also the form in which the 13th century Sufi poet, Rumi, wrote his Masnavi Manavi. The 20th century saw many changes in poetic language, evolving at a time of great transformation in Iranian history. In the 1920s, Nima Yushij broke with a classical rhyming scheme and introduced new poetry, which was later developed into free verse. While Yushij's poetry did contain internal rhythm and meter, it did not conform to the classical style. This modernist act began a wave of stylistic changes that continued throughout the century in the hands of poets such as Mehdi Akhavan Sales, Nader Naderpur, Sohrab Sepehri, Farooq Farrukhzad, and Ahmad Shamlu, each contributing to this change in their unique style and voice. With the victory of the 1979 Iranian Revolution, the Pahlavi dynasty was overthrown and an Islamic fundamentalist regime was installed. This resulted in the emigration of many Iranian artists to other countries. Many of the poets who left continued to recite poetry in Persian but few attempts have been made to introduce contemporary Iranian poetry in diaspora to the English-speaking world. In an effort to introduce this work to the West, the poems presented have been translated into English. Following a long tradition of oral storytelling, artists of other mediums and cultures were invited to collaborate in their presentation. For after all, poetry is at its best when experienced directly in performance. <laughs>